working on. I just bought a 1135 Massey and uh, I think I got a heck of a deal on it. It's got the Perkins 354. Starts up and runs real great. The problem I'm having is the hydraulic leak right there. You can see it's where it's all wet. I can come to the conclusion that it's this uh, um, large line right here which actually goes to uh, this thing right here which actually goes to the cooler up front or something of that nature uh, but it's leaking on the back side and it rubbed through you can I can feel it with my with my finger but I got the brake system out here and it's fairly easy it's just a couple of bolts um, there and a couple over here and that whole module comes up and I'll show you why in just a minute um, okay here's my module and uh, you can see where the bolt holes were there this is next to the console this is on the outside and it came out real simple and you had to take the cylinder off anyway I'm getting that rebuilt but these things here this bar right here is froze up I don't know if it's been like that for a while but like I said I just bought this tractor and it looks like somebody has been using a uh, hammer or a uh, pipe wrench to move these brakes for a while now you can see right there they got that all beat up with a hammer or something you can't even get the uh, um, the this thing here that puts your brakes together to work as one you can't even get that in the slot but you can see right now that this thing is don't move and uh, I don't know how long it's been like that but uh, it's kind of scary how people just don't take care of their equipment and uh, use a hammer or something to, to get the brakes off. But anyway, it looks like it's froze up in between this thing right here. Not these guys, but this bar that goes across. I'll just have to get some heat on there and, and loop that up. And it actually is it actually is pinned right on this side. You can't really see it too good in this light, but there's a pin right here. And... Uh, First thing I'll try is get this loosened up and see if I can get some heat on it and see if that works. Otherwise, I'll just take it apart and clean it up real well. Maybe even paint it and make it look nice. But, uh, yeah, don't beat on your equipment. You know, it should work the way it was intended to work. You know, fix it the right way and you'll have a happy day.